you're talking about sexual harassment claims. Sexual harassment. Uh, Race-related claims. Race-related claims. Uh, sexual discrimination, discrimination claims. claims. Age discrimination mm -hmm. claims, which is, uh, you know, people, all of us get old, but we don't like to, <laughs> we don't like to think about it, but we all, you know, we, it, uh, there's protection for workers that are over 40. Mm -hmm. and, uh, ADA claims, American with Disabilities Act claims, where, you know, someone has, you know, either a birth disability or uh, are injured during their life and they have some kind of disability that uh, they need an accommodation for or that they need uh, an employer to, uh, you know, hire them with that disability. So those kind of claims. And then we have uh, national origin claims. Someone come, comes from another country. That's in the news now with, you know, you know, with the uh, political stuff as far as, uh, you know, immigrants and things like right. that. So we have national origin claims. So there's a wide spectrum of things that the federal employment laws protect. Now, there are some states that give more protection than others. Alabama, uh, unfortunately, is not one of them, but we have, we don't have a human rights commission or anything like that that would address those state law issues. And those are for the EEOC. And yes. we mentioned overtime wage and hour claims, yes. those fall under a different yeah, those, area of law. Yes, sir. Our, those, those fall under what's called the Fair Labor Standards Act. And actually, the uh, this interesting thing, the Fair Labor Standards Act goes back to the 1930s, mm -hmm. when uh, after the Depression, you know, wages were depressed, and mm -hmm. so the companies would take advantage of workers, working you without paying you overtime, working without paying you a minimum wage, and those kind of issues. and. And now, in, in this day, the same thing goes on. And so what you have a lot of times is that workers are misclassified.